So let's solve the problem from lead code, which is called find the corresponding node of a binary tree in a clone of that tree. So we are going to solve this problem using BFS. So the problem description is as following. So class given two trees, the original tree and the cloned tree. At the same time for us given the target node from original tree and we have to return the reference of a node from a cloned tree where the node value is equal to the target value. So here, let's say if our target is equal to tree, we have to return this node reference. So using DFS, if we will solve this problem, we have to just use Q. So initially our Q will be empty. Then we have to add the root of the original tree, which is seven. So after adding the seven, we have to pop out the frontal element, which is seven. And uh, after that, we have to look to the children of the seven. The children of seven is four and the three. So we have to add four and three to the queue. And as you can see from here, we don't have seven because we have popped out the frontal element. And once we pop out, we have to check whether the seven is equal to three. In this case, they are not equal to each other. Then it means we have to continue. Again, in the second iteration, we have to look to the frontal element, which is four. And we have to look to the children of the four. As you can see here, we don't have any children for the four, which means we don't have to add anything to the our queue. Then we have to pop out the four from the queue and compare it with the tree with the target value. Again, they are not equal to each other, so it, which means we have to continue. Then we have to look to the frontal element, which is three, three having two children, which is 16 and 19. So we have to add 16 and 19. And after that, we have to pop out the frontal element, which is three. And we have to check whether three is equal to our target. So they are equal to each other, which means we have to return the reference from our cloned tree. So the general algorithm look in the following way. So we have to first add root element to our queue. After that, we have to look to the left child and the right child. So if we have a left child, we have to add it to the queue. If we have right child, we have to also add it to the queue. And we have to take the frontal element and compare it with the target. If they are equal to each other, we have to return the reference to the frontal element. And at the end, we have to pop the frontal element. So we have to continue this sequence of action while our queue will not be empty. If we will not be able to find the target value, at the end, we just have to return null. 